Ever wondered why your feline friend seems to be conducting an orchestra in the middle of the night, or why they stare at the wall for hours on end? Well, it turns out cats have their own unique set of behaviors, many of which can seem downright bizarre to us humans. You see, cats are not just small, domesticated tigers. They're a species with their own unique evolutionary history, social structures, and behavioral patterns. They're not trying to be weird, they're just being... Well, cats. Take, for example, your cat's obsession with rubbing against walls or doors. This isn't some strange feline dance. It's actually a way for them to mark their territory with pheromones, or consider their tendency to lick your face or hair. While this might just seem like a ticklish annoyance, it's actually a sign of affection, showing they consider you part of their cat family. Then there's the famous feline fascination with boxes and tight spaces. This behavior could be driven by a need for safety and security. And what about their preference for drinking water straight from the faucet? It could be that the sound and motion of running water piques their interest. And let's not forget the sudden sprints and wall running hunting non-prey items like shadows or tail, sitting on you sleeping in strange places, bringing prey as gifts and pouncing on invisible prey. These behaviors, while strange to us, are deeply rooted in a cat's instincts and natural behaviors. So while your cat's antics might seem odd, they're usually nothing to worry about. In fact, they're a fascinating window into the world of our feline friends. Understanding these behaviors can help us better understand our cats, build stronger bonds with them, and provide them with the best possible care. Stay tuned to find out what's going on in your cat's furry head. We'll dive deeper into each of these behaviors in the upcoming segments. So get comfortable, grab your cat, and get ready for a wild ride into the strange and wonderful world of feline behavior. Does your cat have an odd obsession with your doorframe? Here's why. Cats, being the territorial creatures they are, have a unique way of marking their domain. It's all about pheromones, those scent-carrying chemical substances that are unique to every cat. When your feline friend rubs against walls or doors, they're not just indulging in a satisfying scratch. They're actually leaving behind their personal scent, a kind of olfactory sticky note that says, this is my space. This behavior is a cat's way of setting boundaries and establishing their territory. It's part of their natural instinct, a throwback to their wild ancestors. They're basically saying, I was here, this is mine. It's also a way for them to feel more secure and at home in their environment as familiar smells can be comforting to them. So next time your cat rubs against a wall, remember they're just marking their territory. Ever had a cat saliva shower courtesy of your pet? Here's what it means. You know, when your feline friend starts licking your face or hair, it's not just trying to give you a free spa treatment. Cats often use licking as a form of social bonding. It's an intimate activity that's usually reserved for other cats in their social circle. So when a cat licks you, it's probably because it sees you as part of its family. This is a behavior they learned from their mother, who used to lick them when they were kittens. It's a sign of affection, trust, and even protection. It's their way of saying, you're one of us and I care about you. Now isn't that sweet? So the next time your cat starts grooming you with its rough little tongue, remember it's not trying to annoy you, it's just showing you some love in the way that only a cat can. So it's not gross, it's an honor. Does your cat love boxes more than their expensive cat bed? Here's the reason. Cats, being the curious and instinct-driven creatures they are, have a natural predisposition towards boxes or tight spaces. These compact areas provide a sense of safety and security that wide open spaces simply can't offer. You see, in the wild, cats are both predators and prey. Having a small enclosed space to retreat to allows them to observe their surroundings while remaining hidden from potential threats. It's like their personal fortress of solitude, a place where they can relax and let their guard down. This is why you'll often find them squeezing into shoeboxes, laundry baskets, or even the tiny gap behind your sofa. Turns out, your cat isn't being weird, they're just being safe. So next time you notice them favoring a cardboard box over their plush pet bed, remember it's not a rejection, it's a survival instinct. Does your cat ignore their water bowl and go straight for the faucet? Here's why. Cats are curious creatures by nature, always on the lookout for new and interesting stimuli. The sound and movement of running water from the faucet can be incredibly enticing for them. It's an audio-visual treat that their water bowl just can't compete with. It's not just about the sound and movement, though. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their prey, and running water mimics this natural source much more closely than a still water bowl. 
It's fresher, cooler, and more appealing to their feline instincts. And let's not forget the fun factor. Cats love to play, and a dripping or running faucet can provide endless amusement. They can paw at the water, try to catch it, even drink directly from the stream. So, it's not about the water bowl, it's about the thrill of the chase. Ever wondered why your cat suddenly sprints around the house or runs up walls? It might seem like madness, but it's a perfectly normal feline behavior. These random busts of speed and wall running are actually a cat's unique way of releasing pent-up energy. You see, cats in the wild spend a considerable amount of their day hunting, chasing, and exploring. Domestic cats, however, often don't have the same outlets for their energy. So they compensate by dashing around the house at breakneck speed or performing gravity-defying wall runs. Think of it as their version of a workout. Just like humans might go for a run or hit the gym to burn off energy and stress, cats sprint and do wall runs. It's their way of staying active, engaged, and healthy. So, the next time your cat takes off like a rocket or races up the wall, remember, it's not madness, it's just energy release. Does your cat hunt shadows, light reflections, or even their own tail? If so, you've probably wondered why. These seemingly nonsensical behaviors are actually linked to a cat's inherent hunting instincts. Cats are natural-born hunters, and their keen senses enable them to detect even the slightest of movements. A shadow darting across the floor, the glint of light bouncing off a shiny object, or the flick of their own tail can trigger their predatory instincts, prompting them to pounce and hunt these non-prey items. This behavior is not only a way for cats to hone their hunting skills, but it also provides them with mental stimulation and physical exercise, helping to keep them healthy and engaged. So the next time you see your feline friend chasing after a seemingly random object, don't be confused. Remember, it's not confusion, it's just hunter's instinct. Does your cat always want to sit on you, regardless of what you're doing? If this sounds familiar, don't worry, you're not alone. Cats are known for their eccentric behaviors, and one of those is their inclination to sit on their owners. But why do they do this? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, cats seek comfort. Your lap is warm, soft, and cozy. A perfect spot for a cat nap. Second, it's a sign of affection. Cats are territorial creatures, and when they sit on you, they're essentially saying, you're mine, it's their way of marking their territory and showing their love. In addition, sitting on you allows your cat to stay close to you, your scent, your warmth, your presence. All of these provide a sense of security and familiarity to your feline friend. So it's not about being annoying, it's about love and comfort. Ever found your cat sleeping on your keyboard, book, or even in a bowl? It may seem unusual, but these seemingly odd choices for snooze spots are all about warmth and comfort. Cats are connoisseurs of comfort. They seek out places that provide them with the right balance of warmth, softness, and security. Your cozy keyboard, for example, emits a pleasant warmth that your cat finds irresistible. Similarly, the book you're reading might be situated in a sunny spot or on a comfortable cushion, making it an appealing place for a nap. Even something as hard as a bowl can be a perfect cat bed if it's in a warm place or if its shape allows your cat to curl up snugly. You see, cats have a knack for finding the coziest, most comfortable places in the house, even if those places seem strange to us. So, it's not about being weird, it's about finding the perfect nap spot. Ever received a mouse or bird gift from your cat? If you have, then you've been a recipient of your feline friend's hunting prowess. Cats are natural hunters, and they often bring their trophies back home. This behavior is not about terrorizing you with dead mice or birds. It's a remnant of their wild ancestry. In the wild, mother cats bring back dead or injured prey to teach their kittens how to handle and eat their food. So when your domestic cat brings you a gift, it's their way of teaching you, their human family, how to fend for yourself. It's a compliment, really. They might also bring you these gifts as a show of their hunting skills, a sort of bragging, if you will. They're saying, look what I caught, aren't you proud? It's their way of contributing to the household, sharing their success with you. So it's not about being gross, it's about sharing their success. Does your cat suddenly pounce on an empty spot? Well, don't be alarmed, it's all part of their natural hunting instincts. Cats are born hunters, and their instincts often kick into gear even when there's no actual prey in sight. It might seem like they're chasing ghosts or imaginary creatures, but what's really happening is a bit more mundane. You see, cats have a keen sense of hearing and sight. 
So, they might be reacting to a tiny insect or a speck of dust that's too small for us to see. They might also be practicing their hunting skills. Yes, even indoor cats need to keep their hunting instincts honed. It's like a game for them. A pastime, if you will. So the next time your feline friend pounces on nothing in particular, just remember, it's all part of their natural behavior. They're just flexing their hunting muscles, so to speak. Let's summarize what we've learned about the strange behaviors of our feline friends. First, we explored why cats rub against walls or doors. This is their way of leaving behind pheromones, a chemical marker that communicates ownership and territory. Next, we discussed why cats often lick their owner's face or hair. It turns out this is a form of affection and a sign that they recognize you as part of their feline family. We also looked at why cats have a preference for boxes or tight spaces. It's believed that these provide a sense of security and comfort, giving them a safe hideaway from the world. Then we talked about why cats enjoy drinking water directly from the faucet. The sound and movement of running water stimulate their curiosity and interest. We delved into the mystery of random sprints and wall running. These actions are typical ways for cats to burn off excess energy. We also examined why cats tend to hunt non-prey items like shadows, reflections, or even their own tails. This behavior is driven by their natural hunting instincts. We looked at why cats enjoy sitting on their owners. This action could be a way to seek comfort or simply a demonstration of their love for you. We explored why cats choose to sleep in strange places like on keyboards, books, or inside bowls. It seems they are drawn to the warmth and coziness of these places. We discussed why cats often bring prey as gifts. This could be seen as a token of affection, or perhaps they are showing off their hunting prowess. Finally, we talked about why cats sometimes pounce on invisible prey. This could be a sign that they are chasing phantom prey, a product of their active imaginations. Remember, each strange behavior is part of what makes your cat unique and lovable. So the next time your cat does something odd, simply smile and appreciate the quirkiness that makes them so special.